Hello everybody and welcome to a quick KO upgrade review. In today's video, uh, thanks to both uh, TF Direct and Sertoys, uh, I'm going to be taking a quick look at the Jimbao upgrade kit. As you can see, the yellow Devastator I have here, the G2 style, uh, that's the one I purchased from Sertoys. That was part of the box set and it came with the upgrade kit pre-installed. Uh, as you can see, it does make a world of difference. Uh, there we have the Jimbao Oversized Gravity Builder Green on the opposite side of the screen. And he doesn't, as of yet, have the upgrade kit installed. So it's just a matter of me installing set upgrade and showing you what it is capable of. Uh, basically, the upgrade uh, consists of a few different parts. Uh, we get like a head and we get these huge drill pieces. And then we get the very important leg parts, which sit in here and here. And they basically hold everything into place and really do help with stability. And there's a few other little tiny mods that they've put in that aren't necessarily essential, but personally I think have made a vast difference, uh, namely the upgrade to the crotch area. Well, it works. There's a lot more stability with this piece than there is with the other Gravity Builder oversized KO. Uh, don't get me wrong, he's still a very nice looking figure, but I think this is the upgrade kit that it deserved, that it needed in the first place. Uh, props to Generation Toys for making the original upgrade kit, and then thanks to Jimbao for upscaling it. Now your upgrade kit will come packaged in a box that looks like this. Uh, mine's in better days because it was <laughs> underneath everything else. Uh, but again, we've got uh, some fairly nice artwork on there and it's defamation. Hmm. Yes. And then this is what we have included in said kit. Uh, we have screwdrivers in there with some screws. We have two of these really nice rotary blades. We have an upgrade to the top which is the panel that we switch out. Uh, we have the new crotch that we're gonna switch out. And then we have these new thigh pieces, uh, which work very much the same. Uh, these basically, uh, this slides down and that then slides in and this kind of helps lock it into position. And then we've got the circle peg, which will peg in. Uh, there's not a great deal to these, but they really do make the world of difference. And these, these are fun. I like my big drills it basically fits over the fist that we then have this pull cord so we have a drill effect uh, so without further ado let's get all these parts open take a look at them individually and then install them and like i said uh, not all kits will necessarily need to be installed uh, as i mentioned my g2 uh, actually came with the kit pre-installed uh, but the g1 style head is nice. This literally just unplugs and we have a bracket on the top of the head there which will slide in and uh, the batteries out of that will just place inside here as well and then there's a button to push which will turn the batteries on and off. But that's a really nice G1 style sculpt. This is the top of the cab section. Apparently some of the previous versions did have faults with this. Uh, so this is nice and solid. Again I'll show you how to install all of these pieces and this is the new kind of reinforced crotch area uh, which is more sturdy again I'll show you how to install and then these are those additional leg pieces let's bring in our limb and if we look here we have four screws we have one here two three and four we're going to undo all four of those screws you notice that this piece here is attached on both sides when I just wiggle that out. This is what we're gonna modify. Have this ratchet and bring in our new panel. Right, rebuild these joints. These are quite greasy. So just bear that in mind. And we have this ratchet piece. And then place the joint over. You can then put that back together and just place all of those screws back in. 
Now you will notice that uh, as standard it doesn't come with the side flaps as well. So we'll have to remove those from the original. Now that's all attached. It's still incredibly stiff mind, but we're gonna slide these new knee joints all the way in. So it goes all the way down. And then this is gonna ratchet up like so. And then where normally, uh, when only this bit would uh, move with this entire joint piece now moves. And now I'm not convinced that we necessarily need the uh, replacement roof. I believe there was some uh, variations of this mod that had damage to that roof panel. Uh, this one uh, doesn't seem to have anything wrong with it whatsoever, but the option is there um, covering all bases here. But yep, there we go. Then we have a very sturdy leg. Now come around to our bone crusher. Now, still got mine in kind of half formed leg mode. You want to remove uh, quite a few screws here. There's uh, four along the top that we need to remove. There's these, this one here and this one here. So that's six thus far. And you want to pop this and this off just to get them out of the way. So let's get those removed first and then see where we go from there. Now removing those screws allows this panel on both sides to lift up. And in return, this piece here just separates. It gives us a lot more kind of space to work with here. Uh, come around to this front panel, make sure all of this is untabbed for now. And then again, we've got some more screws to undo here. We've got uh, this one here and this one here. You wanna do that for both of those panels. And then this panel lifts off, the legs can move out. And then from the reverse side, slide this panel out. You want to do that for both sides and then we're going to bring in our replacement piece. And same as before, replacement part is exactly the same. We just do that in reverse. We start by rebuilding the legs. Now if you bring this piece off, we actually get these replacement ones like so and we can rebuild those legs. There we go, so that's the uh, new one all put together and screws tightened back up. Uh, I'm going to fix this into position. Uh, this will come down and uh, for the combined mode we're going to slide this on the inside like that and like that and then bring that down holding that into place uh, we can then bring in our hip skirts like so straighten those out yeah, it just slots in. So you've got the larger section over on this side and a smaller section here. And then as before, but only now in reverse, these are gonna slide on. You'll do that with both sides. And then tighten up those screws. And now I'm just gonna plug these arms in and rotate this waist so it is prepped and ready for torso mode. And then the final stage of the modification is you want to open up Devastator's head. You want to remove this panel piece, which is where the battery sits. And we have these screws on the inside. You want to just remove both of those. That's going to allow the head to separate. Nicely, yeah, place that over to one side. And this one does just literally slot on. It's fantastic, just pegs in like so. And then if you've got a battery pack uh, to place inside the head, it just pops out and the battery will just slide straight in. And here he is, uh, all transformed up. Uh, what do you think? I think it's actually quite a nice look for him. It does kind of really make 
a different, just a little of extra height on those legs and the head as well. I think he looks pretty darn good. Uh, now I'm not going to keep the uh, spinny things on the fists. So I'm going to keep those drills just for my G2 version. Uh, but it's very straightforward to apply them. Uh, you basically turn the fists like this on one side and vice versa on the other. And then if you just look on the inside here, the fist will slide in to this void. And then holding that in place, you can then pull back the cord. And obviously the these will spin. Uh, they're just hitting my fingers at the moment, but that's the idea of the drill pieces. Uh, I mean, to be honest with you, uh, it does kind of very much remind me of the old Hercules upgrade kits that we used to get back in the day for the TFC version. What's missing? I would like something on those shoulders. Maybe if they could give us a little bit of a shoulder booster, because uh, I still think that these are far too close to the torso that they do get in the way. The legs and everything are really nice now. This all holds into place nicely. But just something about those shoulders that don't quite... Uh, tally up for me just a little bit of a block or something just to bring those slightly further away from the torso so we can move them up but uh, much more like we got with constructor and i think that would be pretty much spot on and speaking of constructor here he is uh, just to give you an idea of how they fare uh, it's definitely more in keeping with that scale uh, in comparison to where it was but uh, constructor is still the largest of the lot and still my favorite but uh, value for money uh, considering especially this g2 set from sir toys came with the kit kind of pre-installed all by the head uh, you can't go wrong I i'm happy to have variation in my sets and i don't necessarily need the same devastator for my g2 set as i do for my g1 uh, but i think that it's great that they have options uh, yeah, I, I like it. I mean, he's still probably... Constructor is still my favourite, without a shadow of a doubt. But uh, I was looking again at the orange version of Constructor. And ouch! <laughs> That's a lot of pennies. Uh, especially considering the price uh, that I paid for the yellow Jin Bao. Thank you all for taking the time out of your busy, busy lives to watch my content. Uh, I'll include a full review of the original... Uh, Jimbao Devastator, I'll just include a link to that at the end of this video. And until next time, for myself and Devastator, Devastator and Devastator, ah, uh, goodbye!